Good morning, everybody. To my 29 subscribers and anybody else who watches this video. Okay. I'm going to do a random book drawing. I'm going to book it. I'm going to rewrite this because I wrote it in orange and you can't see it very well. So I have to make it a little darker. So Okay, what in the world is going on? I think that is the Dr. David <laughs> Jeremiah book. Okay, I'll be right back. <sighs> I forgot when I bought this book. I've had this book for a long time. Okay. What in the world is going on? Ten prophetic clues you cannot afford to ignore. Dr. David Jeremiah. And I've read this book before, so I have a bookmark. But I hadn't finished reading the book. Okay. Let's see, what does the back of this book say? Okay, the back of the book says, A clear, compelling primer on God's heart for Israel and the dramatic Bible prophecies that will unfold in these last days. What I loved most is that David Jeremiah unashamedly examines and explains the biggest global trends of our day through the Lord Earth. Through the third lens of scripture and his description of Jesus's unconditional love and compassion for Jews and Muslims is alone worth the read. Joel C. Rosenberg, New York Times bestselling author, The Last Jihad and Epic Center, Why the Current Rumblings in the Middle East Will Change Your World. Okay. This well-researched and brilliant, brilliantly written book is so fascinating. You can hardly put it down. It has much to offer any reader interested in what is going on in our world and ties current events to important biblical prophecies. You'll be convinced by reading this book that we are on the verge of the greatest event in human history. Everyone both inside and outside the church should read it. Tim LaHaye Popular author, recognized prophecy scholar, and creator of the New York Times best-selling Left Behind series. The Bible has plenty to say about end times, but until now, there has been no other book that, in straightforward prose, that's easy to understand. Gathers ten scriptural prophecies, lays out a chronicle checklist, and offers a guideline for sorting it all out. In What in the World is Going On, Dr. David, David Jeremiah answers the hard questions, including these. How is prophecy playing out in modern Europe? Why does Israel matter? How are oil reserves and Islamic terrorism related? Does the United States play a role in prophecy? How should we live in the end times? Events unfolding in today's world are certainly unsettling, but they need to be but they need not be confusing or frightening. Now you can know the meaning behind what you see in the daily news and understand what in the world is going on. Okay, so that's the back. Okay. So we we'll read that inside cover. Okay, 
Never before have we read such jarring headlines, distressing news analysis, or dire predictions for our world. There are food shortages, record high fuel prices, and natural disasters from volcanoes to cyclones. Longtime antagonist China and Japan announce a pledge of peace and friendship while a newly belligerent Russia makes pacts in the Middle East. The president of Iran claims Israel must be wiped off the map while world leaders sit by and say nothing. When these kinds of stories continue to appear, we can't help but wonder what in the world is going on. Centuries ago, Events such as these and much more were written about in the Bible. Prophecies regarding the final days of Earth's history in a coherent timeline that identifies 10 end time events. Interpreted through the books of Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Matthew, Revelation, and others. What in the world is going on makes Bible prophecy and the warning signs abundantly clear. Scrupulously researched and organized, these warnings are useful only if we heed them. There's peace in knowing what to expect, and Dr. Jeremiah offers words of encouragement while also reminding us how to live in the meantime. Watch, work, and wait. Dr. David Jeremiah is the senior pastor of Shadow Mountain Community Church in El Cajun, California. He is the author of uh, several best-selling books and his popular syndicated radio and television Bible teaching pro program, Turning Point, is broadcast internationally. David and his wife Donna have four children and ten grandchildren. Okay, so that's all for this video. So, thank you for watching.